Inhale, sweep the arms above the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest and step the right foot back. Drop the back heel of the back foot, turning the toes out. And we move the arms up, warrior two. Make sure to keep the left knee stacked over the left ankle for stability through the knee joint. Tuck the tailbone under, shoulders down away from the ears and arms along parallel to the mat. Drop the left forearm to the left thigh and inhale, take the right arm up and over. Maintaining openness in the chest, if you want to, you can take the gaze to the hand and the option there to take the left hand to the mat. If you find this too much, you can use a block to come down halfway. Inhale, come back up, warrior two, straighten the front leg and exhale, start to reach the fingertips all the way forward dropping the left hand to the inside of the left calf and inhaling, taking the right arm up to the sky. Again, pressing the shoulders away from one another, rotating through the spine and drawing the right shoulder, stacking it on top of the left. Breathing deeply. And then exhale, bend the front knee, place both hands either side of the front foot and start to bump the back foot up, turning the toes to face the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen through the spine and exhale, round down, straightening into the front leg. If it's too intense to straighten the front leg, you can put a little bend in the knee. And if the fingertips don't come all the way down to the mat, you can take a block either side of the front foot or just rest your hands on your shin or your thigh. Inhale, place the hands either side of the front foot, bend the front knee and step back into plank. Exhale, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, up facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, take the gaze between your hands. Step your right foot through. Step your left foot through, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Raise the chest and step the left foot back. Again, making sure the right knee is over the ankle before you wimmo up into warrior two. Hold it here. Exhale, drop the right forearm down to the right thigh or alternatively take the hand all the way down to your block or your mat, depending on what option you took on the other side. Keeping the chest nice and open. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Straighten the front leg and exhale, start to reach forward dropping the right hand down to the inside of the right calf and inhaling, taking the left arm up to the sky. Again, rotating through the spine, drawing the right shoulder underneath you, drawing the left shoulder back, stacking one shoulder on top of the other and keeping the tailbone tucked under, so press forward through the hips. Drop the top arm down, place both hands either side of the front foot, turn the back toes to face the front of your mat and bump up your stance. Lengthening through the spine, straightening into the front leg. Exhale, forward fold. So again, if the fingertips don't come all the way down to the mat, just place them on your calf or thigh or use your blocks here. Press back through the right hip to deepen the intensity of the stretch through that right hamstring. Bend the front knee, place both hands either side of the front foot and step back into plank. Lower down through your chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the gaze between the hands. Step the feet to the top of your mat, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, finishing hands in prayer. Starting in a standing position, slowly start to shift your weight into your left foot. Raising your right foot off the ground, drawing the knee in towards the body, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, and as you exhale, draw the knee a little bit deeper in towards you. Pressing the hips forward and keeping the standing legs straight but not locked. 
Coming into tree pose, you can lower the right foot, place it to the inside of the ankle, the calf, or raise it up using your hand, placing it to the inside of the thigh, basically anywhere but the knee joint. You can have the hands in prayer or inhale, take the arms up towards the sky, engaging the core, allowing that right knee to draw out towards the side of the room, opening through the hips. Keeping the tailbone long, shoulders down away from the ears. Release the knee, draw it forwards. And as you exhale, start to hinge the chest towards the floor and extending the right leg out behind you. Hands can be in front of you or they can rest gently on your hips or stay in prayer. To come out, bend the standing leg and come back up to standing. Inhale, raise the left knee up towards you, interlace the fingers and draw the knee hugging in towards the body. The spine is long and the tailbone's tucked under. Release the foot and place it to the inside of the ankle, the calf or the thigh, coming into tree pose on the opposite side. Your choice what option you take, bringing the palms into prayer, hands on hips or inhaling, taking the arms overhead. Inhale, release the foot, draw the knee forwards and as you exhale, extend the left leg behind you, pressing through the heel of the left foot. Hands can stay on the hips or extend out in front of you. It doesn't matter how high that left leg comes, just keep the left hip square to the mat so you're not lifting through the left hip. To come out, bend the standing leg and step the feet back together. Coming back to your standing starting position.